Stephen Davidson, welcome to the uh, Black Horse Motorcycle Festival. And what has brought you here, Stephen? <laughs> to sell books? Oh, we're here to sell a few books, especially yeah. this book. Oh, this book is our new book. Yeah. So, Stephen, even though I showed you all the ropes, you have been around for a while, haven't you? <laughs> when, when did your photography kick off, motorbikes? Ah. Well, I went to my first race in the 70s, but I didn't really start taking pictures to... Well, I couldn't afford to buy a camera until the 80s. I got it all a few pounds to get a camera and got going from there. And Stephen, uh, you've been taking photographs for years and years and years. Um, now, you, now you're pretty much into... You actually are an author now, aren't you? You, you? you produce so many books. Wow. Just amazing. Just amazing. And what would be your favourite book out of the whole lot, actually? It's hard to say, but I always liked Road Racers, the, this book here, because it kind of tells the story of a road race from beginning to end, and everything in between. And I like pictures that work together rather than just one photograph, and all these pictures work together to tell that story of a road race yeah. all over the world. Okay. Yeah. Stephen, you, you don't just go to the, the North West 200 or the Ultra Grand Prix, you go to every road race in Ireland. Every road race in Ireland, the Isle of Man, Scarborough, a lot of road races in other parts of the world, like the Czech been Spain, Republic, yeah, Czech Spain, Spain, La Veneta. Have uh, you even been to America? Uh, no road racing in America, we went to Daytona. Yeah. If I hear tell of a road race and I get the chance to go, I'll love to go back crack. But it's always great to go to something new because our calendar goes on year in, year out. But I love going to the wee races. I love going to the big races, the, the Northwest, the CT, also Grand Prix. But it's great to go to things like Fuck 8 and Armoy, those are great races. I was just going to say, for a photographer, the dream is to do MotoGP, all the big stuff. You prefer the the, the, the nitty gritty road racing. Mucky, I down to earth. Fiends, everything goes down to earth. It's, the, it's good to go to the, the, the races where everybody just is there for the fun and the enjoyment. It's not so much pressure on. I like being in those races. But yeah, it'd be great. I have been to both GPs and stuff like that, and I love all that as well. It's great to see all the, the big stars and be in amongst all of that as well. It's good fun, but I wouldn't want to be doing it every day. Okay. Right, Steve, just tell us a wee about this uh, Guy Martin book here. This is your latest book. It's the latest book. Guy is kind of quit now. I think he's quit at the top level of racing, seems to be, anyway. You never be sure of a guy, can you? Guy, guy was, what would we say, he was a one off road racer, isn't he? He's a one off. Ah, he's a unique character, there's no doubt about that. As John McGinnis always says, it takes all sorts, and it's great that we have characters like. A guy racing, uh, and he, he brought a lot to the sport, and he brought a lot of interest to the sport as well. A lot of people know about road racing that would never have paid any attention to it at all before. He's a TV celebrity, he's a household name, he's the biggest name in bike racing. This is Barry Sheen, really. What would be one of your favourite pictures in the Guy Martin book? Uh, it's lots of them, but probably. I love pictures like this, that there's a whole lot of things going on in that you can look at and see. There's a lot of people there. Yeah, yeah. One of the things that's really interesting with that photograph is, <laughs> look at the people's faces. Nobody's smiling. It's so intense, it's so scary. They're all together. <laughs> you, get, you really get the feel of it in that. It's a bit like myself when I go to the river because I never smile. <laughs> well, listen, Steve, thanks very much. And you can get your book where you can get it on Amazon. Amazon, Easton's, all the all good bookshops and all that carry on. Yeah. You wouldn't give me one for $1.99, would you? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs>